It's somehow been an entire year since Huawei first unveiled its Mate X Fold and Phone, which means it's obviously time for a spangly new version. So meet the Mate XS, an updated model boasting a specs upgrade and refreshed design. Now the original Mate X obviously had quite a limited global launch to say the least. It basically came out in Huawei's home country and that was it. But at our hands-on briefing, Huawei swore that this new Mate XS tablet will see a global release should hopefully come here to the UK. They pinky promised so they can't go back on it. And I a proper funnel of the Mate XS ahead of the official launch at that briefing and so far it is definitely a very intriguing Galaxy Fold rival. So here's my full hands-on review with the Huawei Mate XS, how it compares to the original Mate and why it might be a handy little device for showing off to your mates down the pub. And for more on the latest greatest tech please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. Now this refreshed bendy handset sports a very similar falcon wing design to the previous generation. It is essentially an 8 inch tablet that can be folded up into a smartphone style device for easier one handed use and to make it slip more easily into a pocket. In that unfolded form it is super skinny measuring just 5.4 millimeters at its thinnest point while that single chunky bezel down one edge helps to provide a stable grip. Now for the second gen mate Huawei has apparently completely redesigned the hinge section so it now contains over 100 components in total. I know what you might be thinking, you might be thinking more componentry, that's more points of possible failure, maybe making it a bit more vulnerable over long term use, but Huawei has reassured us that apparently it's even more robust than before. Of course, we won't be able to truly test that until you get hands on a review model and see if it really can withstand the test of time, so stay tuned for that. Folded up the Huawei Mate XS is quite a smooth motion though, not requiring much force at all. It is a slightly creaky affair, but certainly nothing troublesome at all. And when you push that side button and fold it open again, the display remains impressively crease free. When the main XS is in its splayed out form, that OLED panel is an 8 inch beast with a multi LED film slathered on top for added protection. You get super bright, super poppy visuals, and everything is pin sharp as well, thanks to that 2480 by 2200 pixel resolution. If you fold up the Huawei Mate XS, you still get a pretty damn spacious 6.6 inch front screen with a 2480 by 1148 resolution. And in fact, watching movies is definitely preferable in this form thanks to that rectangular aspect ratio. On the software side, you get Huawei's Emotion UI 10 software slathered on top of the latest Android 10 OS. And Huawei has taken a good, long, hard look at the user experience for this all new Mate XS and redesigned certain elements to make it an even more seamless experience when you're folding and unfolding that device. So you can actually customize how apps react when the device is either folded or unfolded, although most by default will spring out and really take advantage of that extra space when you do unfold. It is super simple and quick to drag apps into play from Huawei's sidebar, which allows you to get a bit of split screening on the go. And that's where that 8 inch panel really becomes worthwhile, giving you a comfortable way of playing with two apps side by side. And there's also full support for Huawei's multi app feature, which allows you to open the same app twice in that side by side format. So for instance, you can be composing an email while also browsing through all of of your inbox for all messages that you might need to refer to. And I also love the way that you can quickly open up an old side-by-side -side arrangement in that recent apps menu if you have a pair of apps that you frequently use together. Of course, as with Huawei's other recent smartphones, unfortunately, because of all the President Trump America shenanigans going on, that means you don't have any support for the Google services. That means no Google Play App Store. You're relying instead on Huawei's app gallery and certain third-party efforts like Amazon's own app store. A lot of the more popular UK apps are covered off by the other third party solutions, but occasionally they'll be relying on uh, web clients instead. Uh, so you'll have to go into your browser to access like sort of a proper full on YouTube, Netflix, things like that. So hopefully while we will rectify that situation soon, certainly got enough money and clout to do so. But for now, as I say, no Google services. In better news, the Mate XS definitely has some serious grunt thanks to Huawei's seven nanometer Kirin 995 g platform. And this can obviously handle multitasking and gaming, no worries, where you have support for a broad range of 5G bands courtesy of Huawei's bespoke antenna design. And to help any of that pesky heat dissipate as well from the chipset and the other areas that tend to get a little bit toasty, Huawei has implemented its unique flying fish fin coolant structure which spreads its way through both ends of the device across that fold. The demo unit I was playing with of the Mate XS certainly stayed nice and cool despite the constant screen on time I was messing around with the camera, stream and media, all kinds of shenanigans. So fingers crossed the uh, final retail unit will also be a strong performer and stay nice and cool even with a full day's use. And stuffed inside the Mate XS is a 4,500 milliamp battery as well, just like the original Mate X, and that is split between the two halves of the device, which helps to add a nice sort of equal balance to the thing when you're clutching it in one hand. And it supports Huawei's 55 watt supercharged tech as well, which will apparently give you 85% charge in just 30 minutes at the plug, which is pretty bloody fast. 
And not too much has changed up for the optics either, which is absolutely fine. You still get a powerful 40 megapixel f1.8 super spectrum lens in there, backed by an 8 megapixel telephoto and 16 megapixel ultra wide angle lens, while a time of flight sensor is also used to reliably add a bokeh effect when needed. Now, because of the design of the Mate XS, you can use that rear camera when it's either in the folded or unfolded form. And when the device is folded up, your subject can get a glimpse of themselves and sort out any raw hair or nostril issues before you hit that shutter button. In this way, you can also take great looking selfies with that triple lens setup for quite remarkable results. The telephoto lens offers a mighty 3x optical zoom or a 5x hybrid zoom, and you can boost well beyond that with the digital zoom as well if needed. Samsung may have that beat with its mega expensive S20 Ultra, but Huawei's effort is definitely more than strong enough for grabbing an up close shot of whatever you like. And of course, outside of those telephoto smarts, you get plenty of other features packed in here, including that ever reliable night mode and a whole bunch of other shenanigans. So, as I mentioned back at the start of the video, the Huawei Mate XS will be having a bit of a jaunt across overseas. Hopefully, you come to good old Blighty. Don't have any information on price or the exact release date or anything yet, but as soon as I do have that information, I will bung it down either in the description or in a comment uh, pinned up at the top down beneath this talking face thing. And stay tuned for a full in-depth Huawei Mate XS review. Definitely seems like a very intriguing device, certainly a solid Galaxy Fold rival. So as I say, I'm hoping to bring you my full in-depth opinions very shortly. And for more on the latest greatest tech, please do plug subscribe, ding that notifications bell, and have yourselves a lovely week, people. Cheers. Love you.